In this video, we are going to study the exponential Fourier series expansion. We studied in our previous videos that Fourier series expansion is basically of two types. One is the trigonometric Fourier series expansion, and that is the exponential Fourier series expansion. In this video, we are going to study the exponential Fourier series expansion. And the general representation of the exponential Fourier series expansion is that if you have a function x of t or g of t, and that will be generally represented as the summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity. We are going to have some constant d of n and we are going to have e power j n omega naught t. So this is the exponential form of the exponential Fourier series expansion where the coefficient d of n is going to be equal to 1 by t naught integration of t naught the function multiplied by e power minus j n, j n omega naught t dt. So let me name it as equation 1 and this is my equation 2. So this is the exponential Fourier series expansion where we have exponential terms. Now we are going to do one example on this. So we are given a single a signal which is e power minus t by 2 and we need to find its exponential Fourier series. Now the time period is 0 to pi so we have t naught is equal to pi which means that omega naught is equal to 2 pi divided by the t naught so 2 pi divided by pi we have omega naught is equal to 2. So it means that if we call this a function g of t then this function g of t exponential uh, expansion is going to be equal to n is equal to minus infinity to infinity and d of n into now in place of omega naught I am going to put t. So we are going to have e power j. In case of omega naught I am going to put t. We are going to have e power j of 2 and t. So let me name it as equation a. The dn is going to be equal to dn is going to be equal to dn is equal to 1 by t naught integration of t naught this function and e power minus j to nt dt again this expression of dn i have substituted the omega naught which in this case is 2 this is my function now because we have t naught is pi so we are going to integrate it from 1 by pi and we are going to integrate it from i have placed pi in uh, in place of t naught i have placed pi now I am going to integrate it from 0 to pi. My function is e power minus t by 2 and this is e power minus j 2 nt dt. So now I need to just solve this integration and we are going to be good to go. So dn is going to be equal to 1 by pi and let me simplify this a bit. So this is 0 to pi e power minus 1 by 2 plus j 2n into t and this is dt. I have written this in simplified form. So now I am going to take the integration. So dn is equal to 1 by 2 pi and this integration is going to be equal to e power minus a t. Integration of e power minus a t is we know that equal to e power minus a t divided by a. This whole term is a in this case. So this will be equal to we are going to have e power minus this a is divided by this whole thing which is minus 1 by 2 plus j to n. This will be from pi to 0. So we have used this formula over here. So this will be dn is equal to 1 by pi again I am going to write this this is going to be e power minus 1 by 2 plus j 2n into t and this will be equal to I can simplify this by saying minus into 1 plus j 4n divided by 2 this will be from pi to 0 let me shift it towards here let me shift this denominator towards here so this will be equal to dn is equal to minus because we have minus over here we are going to have 2 here 
and phi here and then we are going to have 1 plus j 4n and then we are going to have this e power minus 1 by 2 plus j 2n into t and this is going to be from pi to 0 so I am going to just substitute the limits of the integration I am going to write this as it is that is minus 2 by pi 1 plus j 4n I am going to put the limits of the integration so this will be equal to because minus 1 by 2 is multiplied by t as well as this is multiplied by t so this will be equal to e power minus pi by 2 first I am going to put the pi in place of t e power minus j 2n pi and then I am going to put 0 so when I put 0 we are going to get e power minus 0 which is actually equal to 1 so I am going to write 1 in the next equation in the next line so this is minus 2 pi into 1 plus j 4n and we have e power minus pi by 2 e power minus 2 j n pi now the e power minus pi by 2 is equal to 0 0.207 in this e power minus pi by 2 I can write 0 0.207 and then e, we have e power minus j 2 n pi this e power minus j 2 n pi can be written as according to the uh, Euler transformation this can be written as cosine 2 n pi minus j into sine 2 n pi you know that sine 2 n pi is equal to equal to 0 for any n value so this will be equal to 0 so e power minus j 2 n pi will be equal to cosine 2 n pi and cosine 2 n pi is equal to 1 for any value of n so in place of this I can write 1 over here e power minus j 2 pi 2 n pi I can write 1 over here so this will be 0 0.27 multiplied by 1 which is 0 0.27 and e power minus 0 is equal to 1 which we know so simply simplify this 2 divided by pi and multiply by this thing 0 0.207 minus 1 we are going to get the value of dn which in this case is going to be equal to 0 0.504 and n divided by 1 plus j4n so let me name it as equation a so we have find the values of dn now we are going to substitute in the general representation of the Fourier series. We are going to substitute it over here. We are going to substitute it in this equation. In place of dn, I am going to write this. So we can write this g of t is equal to 0 0.504 emission from n is equal to minus infinity to infinity the d of n which is 1, 1 divided by 1 plus j4 and I have already taken the 0 0.504 to the left side and then we are going to have e power j into 2 nt so this is my required exponential Fourier series expansion for this function given thank you